Ever since my crystal blue balls light video a few years back, people have wanted me to make a video with LEDs that dance to the music. So here it is. Now I'm gonna use two different color LEDs to make it look cooler. The first one is this blue LED, which is one of my favorites. And then this amber LED, which actually looks more on the red side. I'll be using a total of eight LEDs, four for one channel, four for the other. The brains of this project is this TIP31 transistor. Now you can find a link for this on kipk.com. They're cheap. And you're going to need a spare audio cable. I'm using a mini stereo cable, and I splice the ends. And to power it all, an AC adapter, or a wall wart, as I like to call them. This is 12 volts, 250 milliamps. We'll be cutting the connector off this one and also splicing the ends. Now it's time to solder all of this together. It looks complicated, but it really isn't. We'll be using this schematic, which you can download from a link also on kipk.com. Once your wiring is all done, it's time to find a suitable container. And I love peanut butter pretzel nuggets. So Tux and I ate every single one in one sitting. And then we ended up with a nice container which we cleaned out and was ready for our project. To get a nice glowing effect with the LEDs, we need our beat box to have a frosted finish. So we're gonna use sandpaper and we're gonna sandpaper this entire box inside and out. And it'll look like this when it's done. We're also gonna do this to the LEDs because they need to have a diffused glow instead of a sharp point. They'll look like this when you're done and then like this when they're powered up. I drilled two small holes in the back bottom corner of the beat box, one for our AC adapter and one for our audio line. Now it's time to put our completed circuit inside and then I use tape to tape the LEDs from one channel on one side and the LEDs on the other channel to the other side of the box. Then I closed it all up with a cover I painted dark blue. Now it's time to test it out. I used an adapter and plugged it in the headphone jack of my receiver. Here we go. It works great, and the two separate stereo channels give it a nice effect. And that's how to make an LED beatbox. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.